Hey guys, today I want to talk about a problem that I see very commonly in strength athletes that I work with, sometimes in physique athletes as well, and it deals with external rotation of the shoulders and engagement of the lats. This can be a problem in any one of the three big lifts, squat, bench press, or deadlift. I see it most frequently in the deadlift and also very frequently in the bench press, less so in the squat, but it can still be an issue. Fortunately, there's a very easy fix for it. So first I'm going to explain. When I say lacking in external rotation, external rotation, looks like this, internal rotation looks like this. I'm sure everybody has seen somebody bench press with their elbows flared way out when they're fully internally rotated. You know that's an uncomfortable position to be in. It puts a lot of stress on the pecs and the shoulder joint. Generally not a great look. External rotation helps protect that shoulder joint and it can also put you in a more mechanically advantageous position to lift more weight. So it's very, very important. The reason people are frequently internally rotated is because either they have poor posture or they do too much pressing and not enough pulling in their training. Again, both very, very common issues. So, easiest fix that I've ever found for it is very simple drill. You're either gonna stand or sit upright, have your core just slightly engaged. And all you're gonna do is turn your palms so they're facing away from you. That's naturally going to tuck your elbows in towards your sides. It's going to help you to keep your lats down. It's very, very difficult to elevate your scapulate like this. It feels very uncomfortable, and it's very, very difficult to flare your lats. As you see, if I push my lats out, it pushes my elbows away from my body. So you're naturally gonna fall into the correct position like this, okay? Now, obviously, you can't bench press or deadlift with your hands in this position, or if you did, it would be a very, very bad look. So don't try to do that. Instead, just try to Sit like this for a minute or two and feel the position of your chest, your shoulder, your scapula, and your lats. It should feel pretty different from when you're just standing around normally, but once you get comfortable with that feeling, it'll be more easy to replicate when you are in the position to complete the lift, okay? When you go to bench press, you can actually set up like this, and then you can just turn your wrist over. That will create a lot of tension in the forearms, which is not a bad thing at all. You should also feel that tension all the way up to your triceps. When you're setting up for the deadlift, I'll turn sideways so you can see, you can set up like this, it'll keep your lats engaged. Then all you have to do is continue to push those lats back. Again, you're gonna feel some tightness in your triceps and maybe even a little bit through the pecs to so make sure you relax, right? You're not using your arms to lift the bar, you're only using your hands to hold on to it. But both of those lifts should benefit greatly from doing this little bit of drill and you don't have to do it very often. Once or twice before you do a big lift is probably sufficient. Again, it can help in the squat as well. If you have trouble with your chest collapsing, this is a good fix for it as well, but that tends to be a little bit more rare. That's really all I got. It's a very simple fix. It's not a miracle by any means, but if you're having trouble with those positions, give it a shot.